Hello and welcome to Tabletop Oddity, my name is Jay and in this video I'm back looking at Kill Team, um, that's all the rage at the minute, it just came out today of recording of this, and uh, what I'm going to be looking at is the cheapest Kill Teams that you can buy, uh, now these necessarily are not the best Kill Teams you can buy, um, they are basically just the lowest amount of money you can spend to get one, so I thought this might be a good way for people who have never played a 40k game, uh, never played Warhammer, uh, and they want to jump in. Maybe you could uh, download the rule book for like 20 quid. Um, maybe not even that. If you're playing with a friend, if your friend's already got the rule book, you just need a, a cheap army to get up and running. Get into the game. This is fine. I mean, you could, if your friend's already got the core set, you could obviously just play that faction. But whatever. So we're going to just look at some factions. I've got about eight, which is about half the factions. The other half probably don't really fit into it for one reason or another. Um, and we'll show you, I've made a little spreadsheet, but we'll get onto the spreadsheet later because first we're talking about the Space Marines. The first strike uh, starter set for the Space Marines. Let me just show you my spreadsheet so you can see what's coming. Um, I'll make the spreadsheet available if anybody wants to see it. Uh, the first strike starter set, really the Space Marines in this are almost like worth it on their own. Um, you can, if you wanted, just buy the push fit stuff for £20, but I sort of feel like if you're going to spend £20, you might as well get the first strike set, because then you've got some Death Guard. Now, the Death Guard probably equal, uh, off the top of my head, I haven't actually checked this out, maybe like 50 points, and a full kill team is about 100 points. Yeah, and the Space Marines themselves here are equal to about, I think, 90-ish points without any upgrades and stuff like that. Now, you don't have the weapons to properly change them around. Like, you can't give the Reavers um, the grappling hooks and stuff like that. You can possibly proxy it kind of thing, um, but it's, it's, it's very near to 100 points that once you include, like, your sergeants and stuff like that, it pretty much is going to count. So, um, I think the first strike box is... It's worth a go if you're interested in the Space Marines. Um, you're not going to have all your weapon options and stuff like that, but you could even maybe try and eBay the Death Guards part of it. And you know what I mean? It's almost like... It's a good enough deal. Obviously, you could just buy a box of Intercessors for like 35 quid and you'd make enough there. But I like this one because it gives you like some Reavers, some uh, normal troopers and extra models and dice and stuff like that. So gets you started, basically. Um, and then we just sort of go through the list. So on my next on the list is the, um, well, these are the 1000 Suns. Um, it's literally, you can just buy one box and be done. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce the other unit in them. They're like these weird beast Zorgars or something like that. It begins with a T, but it's, I think it might be a silent T. Um, 30 quid, easily enough points. I think each one can be like 15 points. And if you've got 10 of them, you could be looking at quite a, um, a significant unit there. So, I mean, this is a one box and done kind of job. Um, and to be fair, like, you've got a whole faction there. So, uh, pretty good. Like, pretty good value, I think, also. And the next one is a little bit... It's not as obvious because it's the... I'm not going to try and pronounce it. The Drukai. The Drukari, I think, uh, this race is. Um, and the Drukari warriors, the Kabbalite warriors or whatever they're called, they... To me, don't look like they would possibly quibble, <laughs> quibble and equal um, 100 points. Whereas the witches, I think, are much, much closer to a, uh, 100 points. So you could just buy 10 of those um, for £18. Um, and that's pretty cheap. Now, yeah, I would, as I said, if you are going to buy these, just recommend, just recommend, I just recommend that you like point cost up your lists if you can. Um, just to be sure that it's right that you can get 100 points. If you're on like 95 points, like it's near enough at the start, um, I'm pretty confident most of these are. I think this one is actually the cheapest one because um, it's literally just £18. Pound. Um, I might actually buy this one, but the the Kibberite Warriors, um, they're also £18. Pounds, so you could literally buy two boxes, have 20 miniatures, £36. Obviously, you can get discounts on stuff like this. This is official GW pricing. Um, you know, if you want to check out Element Games, they do 20% off in the UK. Um, so you, with the discount, you could have £30, 20 models, have everything you probably would ever need in your um, Drakari kill team. So pretty decent value there as well. Um, let me just have a look at the spreadsheet to see where we're going. So we've got Orcs, Tau, Necrons, Chaos, and Skatari left. Um, on the Orcs one... 
they're they're not as obvious because they've got quite a lot of units you can have with the ox um but they're at, my husk went a little bit went mental but they're actually quite um cheap in that sense so you can get orc boys 10 for 18 pound but the problem with the orcs are they're not necessarily the highly highly trained um infantry so um that alone won't get you there what you actually would need to go along with them probably something like well the burner boys or the looters um, the burner boys, I, th I think, are possibly the best people been talking about flamers. So, I think uh, burner boys um, are possibly the second best. Well, not the second best, but uh, the next unit to get with the orc boys, and that'll equal about thirty-three quid, um, eighteen pound there, fifteen quid there. It's discounts you're looking again twenty-five something like that. Um, but that'll pretty much see you to hundred points. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think. Um, tow. Tow are an interesting one. There are quite, I think there might be two ways of doing it with tow. I think the cheapest are probably these fire warrior strike teams. Now, as, going back to point costs, I'm not 100% sat there and wrote a list of everything that you can make with these, but from my uh, quick calculations, it does seem that you could make a 100 point um, kill team list with this. 10 of these fire warrior strike team people um, and the droids should get you there. Um, and that's for thirty pound. Uh, there's an alternative to that which I haven't actually got up on the screen, but I've got here, uh, which is basically uh, the Pathfinder unit. You get twenty in that, and um, that's actually quite close in itself. I think that might be, might be like eighty, ninety points. Um, but then if you get that along with the XV twenty five stealth unit, you're pretty much guaranteed to be there, and you've got two different units for about thirty six pound. So. Uh, pretty worth worthwhile there. Uh, Necron Warriors, £22, 10 of them. That'll, that'll do it. That'll do it. Um, I'm not sure how much Necron Warriors are. They might be like 12 points, something like that. Um, but yeah, you've, you've got enough there. The ones where it's just one unit, you might be a little bit bored if you just play that faction. Especially in um, a faction where the amount available to you is much more varied so like the orcs have quite a few units necrons have at least four units i think whereas say the 1000 suns they only really have two units so you're not necessarily going to feel like you're missing out and um, there's a couple of armies that i've not included in this which you could sort of do with one box but the box is a bit more expensive like gray knights i think you could do in one box but it's like 38 pound which is weird because I just included some that are like £36, so it's like, where is the cutoff point? <laughs> None of these are very expensive, but these are just the cheapest. I'll, I'll probably come back and do something where it's like good lists for cheap, but we're not quite at that level yet. I need to play the game and, you know, properly read through all the points and all that kind of stuff. But Netcons, you can do with one box. Um, I really like the idea of doing the um, uh, Chaos Space Marines or the Adeptus Heretics or whatever they're called. Um, I'm just using all the old school names because that's all I can remember, but <laughs> Chaos Space Marines, uh, 10 of them for £23.50 official price, and that'll do it for you. Um, that that alone would do it, um, which is interesting. And the, the only other unit that they can have are the Chaos Cultists. Now, you can actually get five Chaos Cultists for £6. Um, these are like the push fit ones. Uh, and I went through all the push fit ones to see if you could get like cheapest ones. I said you could do the Space Marines for 20 quid technically, but um, I, I, I just think like a Chaos Space Marines, Chaos Cult is, you've pretty much got every unit in that faction and it's quite cheap. So um, that's one to consider. And then the last one, the Skatari Rangers, this is pretty much what's included in the core set. Um, you've got the Skatari and the Gene Steeler Cults um, and it pretty much includes this sprue. Um, and this will get you to 100 points, pretty much. So um, I just included that for, like, completion's sake. Um, but that's everything, basically. Let's have a look at the spreadsheet. <laughs> there might be some that I've missed. I've sat there and I've gone through for, like, about an hour, an hour and a half, just to see which ones I think were, like, the best value. you. Um, I'll possibly come back and look at the other eight factions, but what I'll probably do is come back and look at them for, like, a competitive kind of thing. This was just, if you want to pick up the game cheaply, maybe your friend's already got the rule book and all the dice and stuff like that, you just want to get into it, you can do this. Or you want to maybe look at a new faction, but you don't want to spend too much money, you could do this. Discounts, these are all GW price. Your local store might have discounts. I said Element Games, 20% off or whatever it is. In, um, there'll be an affiliate link, which if you buy through there, I get money, basically. <laughs> I'm very grateful for the money. <laughs> so do consider that. Um, but yeah, so Space Marines, I said 25 quid. 
for strike you can get that box you can you can get the exact same though for 20 quid by getting the push fit models but it sort of seems like a waste it's like you're leaving value on the table those and sons you can get the rubric marines rubric i'm not I'm, i may not have spelt some of these correctly and i will not be pronouncing them correctly and um, that'll get you 200 points uh 18 quid for witches for the dark elder drakari that'll get you the orcs you can get two units for like 35 quid pretty much 33 quid uh, tarot, two different ways you can either get the fire strike team the pathfinders and the xv25 stealth unit 20 uh, 36 quid um box of necron warriors that'll do you for 22 quid chaos space marines that'll do you for 23 and the skatari that's also 23 sort of similar pricing there for those bottom three the rest aren't exactly very expensive <laughs> um it's not like the rest of um Oh, I think he's gone. It's not like the rest of the uh, kill teams. I'm like, whoa, they're super expensive. No, um, this is just like cheapest ones you can get, sort of. Um, if I've missed any, do let me know. Um, obviously, you can possibly eBay them and get them cheaper. There's a lot of different ways of doing this. Um, but I thought for noobs, it might they might just want to see how quick, how cheaply you can get into this game and crack on. Because you can always buy this and then get the net, the units later on um like the the thing is like with the space marines with the reavers it's like you're not going to have all the upgrades is that worth it maybe not maybe you just want to get all the upgrades maybe buy the, the the space marine kill team box which i have done simply because you get five reavers so you don't have to buy the money for 30 you don't have to spend the money for 30. um but the rest of them are actually like full-on proper boxes um and therefore you can pick and choose the weapons as you please so um you won't feel like you're missing out uh, was on the Space Marine one, you might sort of feel like that, but it's good value nonetheless. Um, that's it, pretty much. Um, I, I just thought I'd, I'd go through, pick the cheapest ones, partly for my own interest, because I want as many, like, factions as possible to sort of keep my games more varied, and um, I don't want to spend... I don't want to go bankrupt in the process, because <laughs> um, this, this hobby is expensive and I don't have a, loads of money. Um yeah so that's it uh, if you like the video do like if you want to share this video with somebody who's maybe on the fence about getting into it and you just want to they just want to look at the factions when you're picking a faction do consider that pick the faction you like the most but um you know because you're going to be spending the money anyway you don't necessarily want to buy a faction and then waste your money on it um, but maybe cost is the most important thing to you um, but then you've got to consider the long term and all that kind of stuff so uh, we'll not talk about that uh, as I said, like, share, subscribe, have a most beautiful day, and goodbye. Bye, guys. And girls, I've got to stop saying bye, guys. I always say bye, guys. And what I mean is bye, guys and girls. But just presume that it's implied. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye.